Turning now to the 2018 campaign, the Republic candidate for Attorney General Ashley Moody stopped by our studio recently to speak to our colleague Jim DeFeeney. Moody is a fifth generation Floridian who was a federal prosecutor in Jacksonville and Tampa before becoming a Hillsborough Circuit Court judge back in 2006. She has the strong backing of the current AG, Pam Bondi. Jim asked Moody what her priority would be if elected. Well, since day one, I've been talking about the opioid epidemic. We lose more people now to the opioid crisis than we do to car accidents and gun violence. Uh, I'm a former drug prosecutor. My husband is a DEA agent. We are committed to this. Uh, it is not a situation, and I don't need to tell you this, that we're going to be able to arrest our way out of. Uh, it's going to be a three-part attack, uh, education, uh, addressing the addiction uh, culture and law enforcement efforts and so with the right statewide group uh, working group I believe that we can compare what's working what isn't where the monies that have been dedicated to this crisis should be going to make sure we're getting an efficient return on those monies that we're not wasting uh, resources precious resources and I'm excited to lead that effort I've promised to start on day one and I will uh, one of the areas that uh, that um, uh, Attorney General Bondi has been criticized on is that she often sides herself with lawsuits against the federal government or against other interests with other Republican attorney generals. One lawsuit in particular that's gaining a lot of notice is that she is uh, joining, I think it's like 19 other attorney generals, Republican attorney generals, to have the um, Affordable Care Act, Obamacare, struck down as unconstitutional, which would mean striking down the provisions on pre-existing conditions. If you're the attorney general, will you continue that lawsuit? Will you continue to keep the state of Florida in that lawsuit to do away with Obamacare and the idea of covering pre-existing conditions. So that is a suit that was uh, started, I believe, back in February. Uh, obviously, I will look at all pending litigation and determine whether or not the resources dedicated to that are going towards you, the so interest of Floridians. So, so you're so not yes. sure? No, no, I'm absolutely sure. With regards to that specific uh, litigation, I would continue it. But that litigation involves whether or not uh, the federal government overreached into something that's been traditionally regulated by the states. I absolutely encourage our lawmakers to ensure that we can provide uh, health care, access to health care and insurance for those with pre-existing conditions. But the lawsuit should not be framed as merely do we su support trying to help people with pre-existing conditions get insurance or not. The lawsuit is whether or not the federal government was right in enacting well, that even, legislation and whether or not that's something that should be left to the states. And I even, can tell you, but even Rick Scott it has absolutely it. will be addressed mm -hmm. if it is left to the states and that lawsuit is uh, successful. Our law, I will encourage our lawmakers as well, our leaders leaders to make sure that those people are covered. But there's no guarantee. The only guarantee that they have now that they're covered is under the Affordable Care Act. And even Governor Scott has been critical and distanced himself from Pam Bondi's decision. This is a quote from Rick Scott. I disagree with efforts to dismantle protections for those with pre-existing conditions. And he distanced himself from Pam Bondi specifically. So by moving ahead with the lawsuit, you may in fact strike down those pre-existing conditions with no guarantee of a replacement. Isn't that correct? The lawsuit merely protects Florida's interest and whether or not that is an area of regulation and lawmaking that should be left to Florida. I can tell you, Governor Scott is supportive of Pam Bondi. She has been uh, a leader in many criminal justice efforts because she's a prosecutor, not a politician like me. Uh, I have been a prosecutor. I have led investigations. I have been a judge. Uh, the, whether or not uh, this lawsuit is successful or not, our leaders will still be expected to ensure that those with pre-existing conditions have access to health care and insurance. 1.7 million Floridians are currently covered under Obamacare. That's a lot of people who will be in it, jeopardy. It is a mistake to believe that if this lawsuit is successful in protecting the traditional interests of Florida regulating itself within this market to mean that Florida will not provide access or health care to those with pre-existing conditions. That's not the case. Your opponent, uh, Sean Shaw, I interviewed him recently. He he said that if he's elected attorney general, he would immediately launch investigations into Donald Trump's business holdings here in Florida. What's your reaction to that? You know, an attorney general is charged with making very serious determinations as to whether to prosecute, uh, whether to litigate. It is, it is an important responsibility, one that I take. Uh, very seriously, which I believe is why I've been endorsed by every statewide law enforcement organization, the Florida Chiefs of Police, nearly 90 percent of Florida sheriffs, independent, Republican and Democrat, because they know that I will fully vet allegations 
uh, I take the decision whether to litigate very seriously. I'm the daughter and granddaughter of ju judges. I have a reverence for our legal system. Uh, I am not going to go out and uh, call press conferences to draw attention to myself. I will make vetted, deliberate decisions in the best interest and for the protection of Floridians. You can see Jim's full interview with Ashley Moody this Sunday on Facing South Florida. That's at 8.30 a.m. right here on CBS4. Also, if you want to hear from Moody's opponent, Sean Shaw, you can find Defeaty's interview with him on CBSMiami.com slash Candidates 2018.